Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 25th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you get, get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have broken down quite significantly today. We were down roughly 0.57% and roughly 75 pips at this at the one point today. So yesterday I said that we most likely will expect a pullback. The reason why is that we were very, very overstretched. We were outside of the bullish band here and usually... What happens after that is that you pull back towards the middle. And that's what we saw. You can see it here. You can see here in the past. So that is basically a warning that you're about to pull back when you get outside of the top or the bottom. And then it will rally up. So we have been trading. We have been trending upwards the last four consecutive days. And that, the day we basically broke down. So we had a rally here of roughly 1.67% to the upside. And today we fell. And now we have broken down roughly 0.8%. So it is trending upwards. This is a um, bullish market. And uh, the question is uh, whether or not we are going to go lower. Fungi Exponential looks like it's going to hold, um, but technical indicators are turning around. So we could see another move towards the 40 Exponential, probably 50 before this turns around. So the reason there are two probably reasons why we broke down. The reason, first of all, very overstretched here and the US dollar started appreciating and usually when that happens it is very negative for this currency pair but at the moment this looks like it's holding and the target is still these previous highs so if it gets lower you know, all the way down to the 40 exponential moving average this is a trade of roughly 1.55 percent so fairly good so let's look at the US dollar uh, yen so we left this trade today, and the reason why is that it started um, appreciating significantly to the upside. So we have been in this downward channel for all the way since March last year. So every time we get to the top, we can sell. Every time we get to the bottom, it's time to buy. And at this point, we are almost at the top. So we are very close to the top, and um, it is almost... I was expecting an even bigger fall here, but it didn't. And the main reason why is that, that the US dollar started appreciating and uh, that worked against this currency pair. So at this point, if we can get all the way up towards the 100 moving average or this trend line here, and then it is all hands on deck and basically sell as much as possible. So that is basically almost uh, the top of the Bollinger Band. If you look at technical indicators, they are turning around or are flat at this current stage. So uh, we'll basically see. You'll see in the... Uh, one hour chart or the four hour chart when it basically is a time to when it's, it's going to turn around it will look something similar to this you will have a spike to the upside massive pullback and then a red candlestick that is showing signs of weakness that is time basically time to start selling it so at this point it's just a waiting game so euro us dollar it looked really promising uh, yesterday but today it has been a lot of choppiness we are just on the edge of the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are turning around. I think this is basically the bottom of the market, 12.05. And the, the target at this point are these previous highs here at roughly 1.5, um, uh, increase of 1.54% or basically the top of the Bollinger Band. So you can look at the top here or you can look at the top of the Bollinger Band. That is um, basically where I expect this to go the next few trading days or probably week or two. Um, Stochastic is bullish. Um, other indicators are actually flat at this point, but this is a very encouraging sign that we are going to go higher. But if the US dollar continues to appreciate it, then it will work against this currency pair. So we'll look at the Aussie dollar, US, uh, US dollar, and it also looked really promising in the beginning of the week. And now we have broken down quite significantly down towards the 20 exponential moving average uh, right here at 0 0.77136 to be exact. And um, in order for this to go higher, we need to get back into this um, into this channel. 
So we have been in this channel for the last two months. We broke out this week and we tried to re-enter it and failed. And now we're heading back towards the 20 exponential. So it kind of depends on the, on the demand for the Aussie dollar for, for precious metals and the commodities. Um, and also the US dollar, whether or not it depreciate or um, appreciates the, the next uh, few trading days. If it starts to depreciate again, then you will see a spike towards the upper part of this uh, channel. And our target is actually up here, it's 0 0.80. That is our target for uh, for this currency pair. So this is a move of roughly 3.78% uh, to the upside. There's a lot of, um, lot of support underneath here. I don't expect this to break down anytime soon. However, technical indicators are not looking very um, bullish at this point. So, so we'll see. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. As you can see, we have rallied from this level up all the way up here. That's 1.42% the last two trading days. So, um, so oil has been um, declining. And usually that works against the Canadian dollar and also Aussie dollar and the US dollar has been appreciating. So that combination is, um, is a very, it's, it's a bullish thing for this currency pair and um, it's a bearish thing for the Aussie US dollar. So at this point, 40, 50, that is basically the top of this range. You will also hit the top of the Bollinger Band when we get there and then it will turn around. So. Um, yes, it's also a waiting game. It's uh, I have no interest in basically buying this. We have been in downtrend for a very long time, all the way uh, since um, uh, May. Uh, no, it is this June in uh, last year. We have been falling roughly at this point to here. That's a fall of roughly 8.4%. Um, so we did rally here and then create another channel. Otherwise, we were in this very aggressive downward channel for a very long time, broke out, rallied quite significantly, and then started breaking down again. And now we're technically in another channel where the 50 moving average is the uh, top of the range. And uh, we have this part here that is uh, the bottom of the range. So it could basically move it similar to this. This is the top of the channel and the lower part of the channel now is roughly here. So we can do it somewhere there. So we can see that there's a lot of room to the downside. When we get close to this, in this channel here, or the 50, 40 moving average, um, there's going to be a lot of um, selling occurring, and we're going to push this much, much lower. So just wait. Uh, so I hope you find it helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Help, uh, click the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you.